Hey everyone, Lone Star Fan 126 here. Do you like my new home screen? I hope you do because I'm in love with this. Okay, I have a theory. Like, this theory's been around for a while. That's about miraculous. It's been around for a while. But, and I was like, no, pfft, what are you talking about? But now I think maybe is Adrian a senti monster? Now, I denied this so much, like, I, like when people go, oh my god, I, like, Adrian's definitely a senti monster, I was like, no, he's not. Because Ezra on TikTok, who works on the show, like, a, a fan asks, is, like, is Adrian a senti monster? And he goes, no, you are. <laughs> Which I found hilarious. But, what if he is? Because think about this. In ephemeral, spoilers out, sorry. If you don't want spoilers, go watch the episode. I will link it down in the description below. But, um, <laughs> yeah, watch at your own risk. Okay, at the start, um, Gabriel and Adrian are in the car. And I can't, I'm traumatized. I'm actually traumatized after. I'm not even joking. Too much drama went down in the space of 22 minutes. I've already made a post about this on my community tab. I've got, I was in shutdown mode for a good two hours. And I might go back into it after I make this video. But I have to do it, otherwise I'll forget about it for months. Okay. So it was, Gabriel's like a hundred like close uh, clothing d design thingy Rob which is such a coincidence I think not because it was the a hundredth episode of Miraculous. Anyway, moving on, swiftly moving on. Um Adrian like he was like, I feel sick, not because there was somebody he could accumulate who's like, Adrian, I want you to represent me and Adrian's but like they want to see you. Like he did before at the end of one episode. I can't remember what it was. But he fiddled with the ring on his finger. And he told Adrian that I am your father, blah blah blah. You will like you will do it. The success of this depends on you. And then Adrian's response was yes, father. <laughs> I'm convinced. That Ezra is keeping something from us because, like, I'm, I'm now convinced, which hurts me to the max. But I am convinced Adrian Agrest is a senti monster. No, 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 no. You, you might think that's just a coincidence. Wait until this. Right. He found out his child was cat noir, like he does be doing. Hello, Shadow. My doggy came. Hi, baby. Hi. <gasps> what you doing? What you doing? You want to say hi to people on YouTube? No? Come here. Sorry, I love my dog. Sorry. <gasps> hey, you. Yes, good girl. Hello. You want to see her? You do want to see her. <gasps> Shut up. Hey. Hi. <gasps> Look at that waggly tail. Hi, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Yes, good girl. What you doing? <gasps> what you doing? Look at your waggly tail. Okay, go on. I mean, you can stay if you want, boss. Okay, back to the video. So, he found out... Hello, stop. I have to make a video, child. He found out his child was Cat Noir, as he does be doing it on the What If episodes, right? Why, why are your ears perked up? Do you hear Dad out the back? Okay, the dog's distracting me. Anyway, watch Shadow stop! I need to get my theory out, dog. Okay. So he found out his child was Cat Noir, like he does in all the What If episodes. And I like somebody said this on YouTube. It's like Gabriel turned his head, and because like he knew Adrian was there, and he lured him down to the basement, and that is exactly what happened. He told Adrian to get up, and he was like, "Follow me." And 
yeah. <clears throat> he led his child down to the basement where he saw his supposedly dead, inverted commas, mother. I don't, is she, is she brain dead? Is she in a coma? Hello, Shadow. Is she, in a, is she, like, somebody explain, because not even I know. Is she in, is she in a coma, Shadow? I don't understand. No. Yes, I don't understand. Uh, like, if, if any of you know, just tell me, because I don't know. Anyway, he, um... He transformed in front of him, either back it up in fear, right? And, like, he, he, hello, Shadow. He akumatized him. And, like, he, Adrian was trying to resist, right? But Gabriel was fiddling with the ring on his hand again, right? He had a, he had a, hello, Shadow. <laughs> I know, I'm, you know I'm traumatized. He was, hello, he was just twisting the ring on his finger with a smile, right? Hello, doggy. And Adrian, he was like, no, he was like, no, no, no. And then he twisted with the ring and then he, he gave in. <laughs> he gave in. And as you know, senti monsters are controlled by an item. Because... The knockoff label was controlled by an Eiffel Tower keyring. Pretty sure it was another one. I can't remember at this stage of my life. But why, how do I remember the, the, the ladybug one? Because this came into my head, right? And then, as a result of Senti Monsters, that also came into my head. Go on, Go, good girl. So. Is is Adrian a senti monster? I mean, think think about it. Just 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 think about it. Fiddle with the ring. Maybe sure you'll say yes. Fiddle with the ring. Before that episode, he was like, "Go to your room," and then he it looked like he wanted to say something else, but he was fiddling with the ring behind his back, and the child. Said yes. So, uh, is Adrian a senti monster? I mean, if you think about it, that, could be how his mother died. Inverted commas, died. Because <clears throat> she used her energy with a broken racket to make Adrian, which is a senti monster. I mean, I, if you think about it. And then, when he was growing up, she kept getting dizzy spells because the effect. Because the rings. A, a, like, Emily had one, and Gabriel had one, but then Felix took one of them, so he had to put the other one. He had to put one, like. No, sorry. Felix took Gabriel's one, so he had to take the one from Emily. And, what, and like, both of them could control Adrian. How traumatized. <laughs> If you think about it, because why would he take the ring off Emily and put it on himself? That's what I was wondering. Because both the rings possess the power to control their senti monster son. It makes sense, doesn't it? If you think about it. Yeah, he was angry at Felix for taking the... um. The ring. But why would he take it off his wife? Because he had to control Adrian somehow. If he wanted him to do something, if he wanted him to submit to him, he had to make him submit to him. Which means make him do as he says. Which, like, submit means I will do it for you. Like, you're, you're not going to fight back. You're going to do exactly as they tell you, if you know what I mean. It makes so much sense, if you think about it. It makes so much sense. Unless, you know, everybody who's working on Marx is just doing this to give us a scare. 
or we that could also be a thing. They're either they like Ezra either would lie to us and go, yeah, he's not a senti monster. In reality, he actually is, or they're giving us this to fool us, and they'll be like, Haha, he's not a senti monster, and then we'll be like, you scared the crap out of us. So it's one or the other. I mean, everything I'm saying makes so much sense. So if that's the case, Meredith's in love with a senti monster. That's so sad. I'm tra- That's it. I'm traumatized. I'm. I'm done. And in the subtitles of ephemeral. Like, it had, you know, the two stars on your, like, keyboard. It had that, and then command as he fiddled with the ring. So think about it. Think about it. Just, just, just think about it. Pause the video and think about it, right? Asian, Asian could very well be a sentiment. Like, I'm, I'm 50-50. Because I don't want to believe it, but it could be true. Because, like, like, yeah, like, why would Gabriel take a ring, take the ring off his wife? Because they both possess the power to control aging. So, Emily could have... Slipped into a coma. I don't know which one it is. Coma or brain dead or so. I don't even know. Somebody. Just anybody who knows. Come tell me. So she could have used a lot of her energy. Creating Adrian. And. Then like. Having like having to control him as well. Because Gabriel didn't make him. Uh, he's not getting dizzy spells or anything. But because Emily used a broken Miraculous to create him, that sucked a lot of energy from her. And it, it just, to me, it makes sense because it, it just, like, I don't really know how to explain, but it just makes sense. She used a broken Miraculous. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I know I'm repeating this again, but I'm trying to make it clear. I, I think you guys understand, but I just need to feel like the need to say it again. She used a broken miraculous. She created Adrian. The rings hold the power to like control him. And they had two of them. So with both of them, like they have to f- kind of move the ring around on their finger. And that will get Adrian to submit because he's under their control. And why have they kept him in the mansion locked up his in- for the, like the majority of his life? Because he's a senti monster who needs to be controlled. They have to, like, they feel the need to control him. They wouldn't let him out of, their, like, their sight. Because he's a senti monster. It, sh- it makes so much sense. It really and truly makes so much sense. Go back now to Ephemeral. Adrian was fighting to resist the akumatization. But Gabriel filled with his ring. And that caused Adrian to submit to him. Because he was shaking his head, had his hands on his head. He was like, no, no. He filled with the ring and he stopped. And he was like, you're right, father. And then he took off his ring and gave it to Gabriel. Think about it. Just just think about it, right? Fighting to resist it. Fill with the ring. Instantly stop submitting to him and giving him the ring. Tell me. If you find an argument that says that does not make sense. Go tell me in the comments. If you find it there, I'm not trying to be mean. But it just makes too much sense to me, like. Because, like, 
go back to that episode. I don't know what episode it was. I think it was some point in season three. I say it was. It was it was either before or after Cat Blanc. And I'm traumatised. I'm actually traumatised from everything that happened today. I really am. We even got the Gabriel Agress trailer. That's also traumatised me. I don't know how, but it just is. Moving on. Because he was like, go to your room, Adrian. And Adrian was about to say something. Had his hands behind his back, filled with the ring. And Adrian instantly stopped. And he said, yes, father. And up he went. I have a good feeling that he's a sentient monster. I hate this. But I'm just too hyper at the moment. To me, it just makes so much sense. Like... It, it really does. I'm sorry, you know, but it just does make sense. At first, I was like, no, he's not a sentiment. He's just not, like, but if you put A, B and C together, A being the first time we see Gabriel fiddling with the ring where he tells Adrian to go to his room, B being in the car in ephemeral, and C being the akumatization in ephemeral. The amount of sense that it makes is unreal. Tell me I'm wrong, people. Because Like, I could very well be wrong. I'm not saying he is one. Well, he, I'm saying he could be one. I'm saying, like, I'm not saying that, you know, my, like, this is right. I'm saying it could very well be right and I lost my blue tack. No! Okay, one second. I got it, I got it. It's fine. It's fine. I've been fiddling with blue tack this entire time, yes. Okay. I'm not saying this is definitely right. I'm saying it has a very high chance of being right. It could also have a very low chance of being right. We don't know. Like, it just seems very likely at the moment. And of course, the cast and producers know so much more than we do. And we kind of, you know, hate them for that. We're jealous of them, like... Because we want to know. But, you know, I hate to say this, but every day, like every episode, we get closer to losing Adrian because he's scheduled to die in season four. So could Gabriel finally get his wish and that costs, like, a, that costs Adrian's life? If you think about it. Or he could die another way, I, which I wouldn't know now. Unless his father accidentally kills him and Marinette has to go back in time to save him. I don't know. I, sh- sh- yeah, buttocks can do it, it's fine. But I'm surprised buttocks didn't show up. I was convinced she would, but instead it was Luca. Luca saved the day by going to um going to Marinette's house on his bike and he just crashed his bike in the door. He goes, Marinette sent me right up the stairs. What's his name? What's his name? The snake. What's what's the snake's comedy's name? That doesn't matter. That's besides the point. I should know, but I don't. Anyway. And then he goes, like, he goes back in time. He saves the day. And then bada bing, bada boom. Everything's fine. I was convinced it was going to be Bonix. But fair play to you, Luca. Fair play to you. But imagine though we actually the day where like Gabriel gets his wish. I'm going highly off topic now. But anyway guys, comment down below if you think that Adrian is a senti monster. Because he could very well be. As much as we all hate to admit it, he could very well be. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> see you in the next video. Might go back into shutdown mode for a tiny bit. So yeah, see you later. <laughs> Bye.